Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Dragon's Dogma 2. I almost didn't play today. Not because I didn't want to, I, in fact my teeth were itchy pretty much all day, I just was too busy. And it's now kind of late at night and I was kind of tired. Zalman, I'm talking and I thought I can go to bed or I can go and record some Dragon's Dogma 2. And so here we are. Sorry, Zaman, I am not going to be bringing you with me right now, but I appreciate your look looking pretty cool. But here we are. We are still in Vermont, right? And we've just kind of been exploring. Look at this. Look at just this cluster of obviously Trevo mine, but the collapsed mine, depleted ore deposit. We got the rear entrance to the collapsed mine, derelict mine, and there's still more because there's still something that I'm missing here. And I'm hoping one of you can tell me what it is I am missing, but it's got to be this, right? It's got to be this. It's got to be this, and I got to go to it. So you know what? I was about to tell you what our plan was, and then I realized, what's the point of telling you what the plan is when you know it's going to change? The plan is, I'm just going to play. We're going to see where we end up, hopefully in Vernworth, hopefully in Har Village, and uh, we're going to be looking for a quest that I may or may not have missed out on involving a sword that I need to repair. Uh, by the way, just in case you are concerned about spoilers, I don't want to say the floodgates are open because they're not. However, however, what I would say is if I have missed something, if I've bypassed something, whether it's a crucial story point or just a really cool quest line, and it's something that it's starting to look pretty clear like I am not going to be going back to it, um, feel free to just let me know, hey, Blue, why don't you head back to this town and spend some time in this area, maybe talk to some folks around there. Uh, you know, don't spell it out entirely, but maybe if you can kind of find a, oh, excuse me, find a clever way of, oh, okay, here we go, of kind of, you know, leading me to it without leading me to it. That'd be pretty cool. Sorry, didn't mean to scare you. I do want to have a gander at your wares. Okay. I don't need any wake stone shards. You don't really sell anything of interest. Do I have anything worth selling? However, just to get it out of my inventory, I have dried fruit. Do I have dried fruit? I thought I combined all that. So in talking with some of you fine archer folks out there, and you know, I have been absolutely just singing the praises of the Medusan spell bow, and it really is a phenomenal bow. It has two very major drawbacks. One of them, obviously, is the weight, right? It absolutely crushes you in weight. It's 15 kilograms. Even if this is Dragon Forge, it's still over 7.5, almost 8 kilograms of weight. That's a lot for a lightweight class. The other thing, though, is the stamina consumption. I don't know what the percentage is, but I keep talking about how I'm running out of stamina, and obviously I need to do a better job managing it. Well, frankly, one of the things I need to do to better manage it is to use a different bow. Uh, so various, yeah. So Yarl appears to have been poisoned as he desired. Yes, I would like you to lead the way to a treasure chest. But before you do that, certainly, Master. I can take you to this individual. Is this really all brand new? Because this is cool. Look at all these giant pillars up here. So we may end up, once we get to a town, we may end up pulling out one of the other bows that we have and actually utilizing that instead, even though less damage and obviously I'm not getting the amazing quadruple experience, just being able to fire more and actually use my skills more often without the need for uh, constantly sitting there and catching my breath would be really nice. Let's see who we're summoning here. Who are you? I enjoy tackling fierce Buffy, the vampire slayer, 10,000? For a Cyclops? Let's take a look at you. You might be coming with us strictly because of that. You're a rank 7 mage. Ah, you know what? Yeah, let's go ahead and make 10,000 easy gold. Which does mean that uh, Alita... Oh, but you get... I thought we... Oh, we did complete this. We did complete this because we killed the Chimera after it poisoned Jarl. Uh, Alita, as always, you've been a blast. I'll probably be picking you up again soon. Thank you to Matt Soko. I appreciate you. You are going to get... A Mighty Roberant. And I'm going to say I love you. Go, knowing I fought to the best of my ability. Let us work together to honor the Arisen... Okay. Buffy. Let's just, you know, calm down a little bit. All right. Don't make me call Angel on you. All right, 
so this is an interesting spot. Feels like there ought to be more here to explore, but in the meantime, let's grab this chest if I can. Oh, what a nice view too, huh? Yeah, love that. There's Heart Village. What would that be all the way up in the top? That's not Dragon's Breath Tower, is it? Have you... draw, draw a line. Mm, it could be. Actually, that very well could be Dragon's Breath Tower. Unless maybe that's Dragon's Breath Tower. Wonderful. All right. Let's see what else we got around here. I'm half expecting a cave that'll actually lead us down into that derelict cavern. Because there's still that one door that I would have to break from the other side in order to get the goodie inside. Is there no, uh, no Seeker's token there? Oh, Silvarius, would you look at these grapes and blueberries? We have found a material. Now, normally in the wild, you're not going to find grapes and blueberries growing together. Blueberries really, really thrive on very acidic soils. So you often find them in uh, really, really just poor nutrient areas in highlands or around um, aquatic environments, especially bog type of environments. Grapes, not so much. Grapes like a lot of, lot of nutrients. A lot more of a, a neutral pH. Okay. Help out with some uh, goblins over here. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say. Is that what they say? Oh, we are still working on maxing out our archer vocation. That should happened today I would imagine probably pretty easily that was impeccably timed. oh sorry I was trying to talk are you also using a Medusa spell boat you classy individual over here all right silver ore camping pack that I'm not gonna take that's gold though right there and of course I'm heavy because why wouldn't I be <laughs> I did a little bit of inventory management right before oh that smoke bacon isn't gonna help either but I did a little bit of inventory management right before I started, and, uh, yeah. Didn't help. What? You, arisen. There's a... There's a ladder where? Are you talking about down there? Okay, what... What good does that do us? Alright, take a quick look at our map here. Alright. I'm still not convinced there's not a cave, so let's do a little bit of looking around. I mean, there's a ladder here. Lots of things to mine. I just, I don't have the inventory space or need, really, for the ore. Tons of ore over here, actually. Oh, there's a Seeker's token, though. We'll go and snag that. Somehow, carefully. Oh, oh. I'd not have thought we'd find one here. Okay, that's so that's that's discovery. one of the caves. That's another cave. I shall have to inform my own master. I'm really surprised we can't find the. Oh, there's a ladder actually down the rocks. I did I did not realize that to be honest. Of picking things up, aren't you? I am. It's a sickness. It's called shinyitis. Look it up. It's a real thing. Not yet recognized in the uh, ICD classification of diagnosis codes, but we're really pushing for it one day. All right. I'm not sure that there actually is. I I was I was sure. We'll take another spin up top just to see. But again, if you know the solution to my quandary, which is how do I get into the derelict cavern's one door that simply refuses to open from the side, uh, please do let me know. Or is it simply a matter of I need something like levitation? That also could be...
the key. I'm just, <clears throat> pardon me, trying to stick the landing up here. I don't think there's any way to get further up here. But I guess, guess we'll go, did we go up here? Oh, you know what? It does think go it. up a little bit more. Long to make things right after what transpired at the coronation. Oh wait, this is where we got all the blueberries. I never to experience the like of that sensation again. I mean, it's it's possible that there's a cave somewhere below, but somewhat. Unlikely at this juncture. Okay. Alright, I think we spent enough time looking for this one one cave that might not even exist. Because I might already have the answer I'm looking for. And that answer might just be get levitate. That's it. That's it. That's all. Leave it alone. Stop asking questions you know the answer to. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? What? Where? Yeah? Lead the way. Appears to have been poisoned. Hawk, look at you! Shall we go and look in on him at his laboratory? Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh no, this is... This is Trevo Mine. Well, if you insist. I'm only glad I don't have to lead the way for a change. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's make our way to Vernworth, because we need to go there. We need to do some serious inventory management. We need to... Look for a new bow and possibly get that upgraded. Even if it's just Vermundian, it doesn't necessarily have to be a Batali strength increase. Anything is going to be helpful. A forgotten rift stone we've not discovered lies nearby. So various. This way, as I recall. All right, I'll follow you. beyond the rift. Because if you can show us where there's a forgotten rift stone, there might be more. Are you sure you know where it is? Don't follow Hawk. Silverius, do you really know where there's a forgotten riftstone? Is he finally going to go off the beaten trail? No. Is he leading the way? Or is he just following Hawk? Yeah, I don't think he's leading us anywhere. I, I wonder if sometimes having a quest tract actually hurts your other pawn's abilities to lead you to places of interest. I don't know if that's the case, but it, it does feel a little bit like it might be. I could be making that up. Let me know in the comments if you feel the same it isn't much of an adventure if all we do is make camp. we're not it's camping not also can i get out to that structure on the on the water it would not be unwelcome for an ally to appear for once we fight to arms look at these headshots very well Okay, some of these aren't headshots, but they're still killing him. I mean, this is hilarious. Oh, you lived. You're the boy who lived. Just kidding. And where are the wolves? Material day. Eh? I shan't deny they have their uses. Oh! Where are my friends? Not that I need you, but... At this point, I'm just picking off the easy targets just for the discipline points. Look at this guy just kind of taking a shower. You'll not live 
to regret this. Who's, who's hitting me? Oh, that's fair. Oh, that is a beautiful thing. Seriously, I could do that all day. Just run, jump, kick, and shoot an arrow. It's a blast. Sorry. Let's take a quick look at our status. We should be getting... Alright, still about 3,800 discipline points away. That's not, not a little. Swear that tree had a rune marked on it. Um, hmm... There we go. That works. I guess not, but it, it looked as if... It looked as if that tree actually did have a, uh, like a rune carved in it. No, we're okay. We're fine. Just keep it mo- That's an ogre! Alright, what are we gonna do here? We're gonna knock him down. And then we're gonna put a big ol' explosive on his head. Oh, where's he going? Fox on it. Oh, where- Oh, hey, there's a treasure up there. Alright, heavenly shot. Pretty good shot right at his face. I don't know what's on his head, but he's he's down. Where did he even die? Where did he die? I have no idea. See, I actually thought this is where I found my first Seeker's token. Do we have... do we have bandits? Oh no, just... just harpies. Okay, so how do I get to that chest? We were overconfident in our ability. We were fine, Silverius. We weren't overconfident. We were exactly the right amount of confident. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was trying to talk there, and then words didn't come out, but only choking happened. I don't think I'm getting there without some other movement ability. The thief or the mystic spear hand, something. Yeah, definitely not. That's okay. That's right. We won't get them all. But we are nearly back at Vernworth. Been a bit since we were here. We we're, Should we check in with Brant? See if he knows anything? We're still trying to pin the whole Phantom Ox card on the Queen Regent, right? Do we have another one? Those are deer. We'll leave them alone. Okay, so let's head back. Let's do some inventory management. We might have some new skills or augments because I think we reached rank 8 while we were out in the field. We're also going to switch out the bow as much as I love the Medusa and spell bow. Levels are definitely secondary right now to maxing out my vocations, especially because I just want to try out new vocations. If we can max out Archer and get a really good feel for some of the, the later skills, 
then we will gladly switch it over to, well, probably Magic Archer. Do you want to do Magic Archer? But then again, maybe going from Archer to Magic Archer is too samey. That very well could be. But let's head to, let's do the Vocation Guild first. To break the law is to be thrown in jail. We're not going to be I thrown in jail. Pittance, despite the hardships of their work. Then we'd best keep some coin on hand to ease our... Okay, so first off, Seekers guild, Tokens. Sir, have you found any of the items we... Got three of them. There we go. 81. Nine more for the Champion's Mantle. Very, very nice. Okay. Lethality. Increases damage dealt when striking a target's vitals. Absolutely, we want that. That seems like an absolute must. And we will get rid of what? Gratification. I don't think that gives you much health at all. Weapon skills. Whirling arrow becomes spiral arrow. Advanced form. That appends still more strikes to the barrage. Tell you what, let's let's use that. Let's get rid of Tempest Shot for that. And that's it. That's all we got. Not not much at all. Fair. Well, before we go and sleep through the night, which we will, uh, first off, is Glindweir here by chance? Just gonna check. I don't think so. Making sure he's not still just chilling outside of the shop for us. He's not. Perhaps new discoveries await us. Oh, is there a ladder here? You know, you are the first pawns to uh, mention that. But while we are here, this isn't actually what I meant to do, but I can do inventory management. I'll do some quick deposits, be right back, and then I, I do have to check for a specific item in my inventory. Okay, so it doesn't appear that I have the item in my inventory. But apparently this is a quest, a rather lengthy quest... That involves me taking an item that I get here and finding a smithy who's able to repair it in Bakbat Hall. So, I would like to try and get that going. I like lengthy quests. I don't know. They're, it's kind of fun when there's multiple quests. Uh, I do want to talk to Brain here, see if he has anything new to say. You have my fullest confidence. You have my gratitude, Your Majesty. It is most valuable. Is there aught else you would No. Do not forget that we work... I'm, I'm surprised. I really, really thought there might be more there. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to go to the Noble District. And we need to talk to some people there. Or rather, a guard is supposed to run up to me and talk to me. So we'll see if that happens. But first, it's been a while since we have slept in an actual bed. Let's do that right now. Probably, I would imagine, Silverius is going to return for some other worlds. Be surprised if he didn't. A thousand, almost eleven hundred ripped. Crit. No one defeated a grim ogre with him, though. Merchant vitality, pity ward, exquisite, and tight. Very good, Awasha. You are too, too kind. Tell you what, goodness gracious. I appreciate you. When I think of my travels. Okay, now we are in Vermund, so I do want to see about valuables to see... Okay, all we have is Tiger's Eye, so we can sell that in Sacred Arbor. Which again, we probably do have more quests there, I would imagine. Hopefully now that the Arbor Heart is secure. So, let's head to the south. And let's go into the Noble District. I don't know exactly who I need to speak to, or... If there's a certain time of day or what, but we'll just kind of run around. I think I have a general idea, but I've been in this area so many times. You'd think, you would think that they would have approached me by now. You're still the one who wants to sell me a 200,000 gold house, yeah? It's just so much. Okay, that is Gregor's house. I don't know if it's actually in the true noble district, but see if we can't get someone to just talk to me. Like you, right in the middle. I have no idea. Who are you? Mind, I have time for a citizen in How might I aid you? Okay, so this could take a while. I'll just run around, I'll talk to some people, and if anything happens, I'll bring you back. But you are the arisen. Are you not? 
Found him. Well, he kind of found me. Captain Brandt bade me ask aught of you, if you would hear it. However, is a matter best kept from prying ears. Might we not move to a more discreet location? I'm in. Kind of running towards a lot more people. Pray, take this. Tis a regalia sword, one of the kingdom's treasures. Tis my duty to guard it. Yet, I have stolen it from the masquerade hall where twas on display. A duplicate now rests in its place, and I must beg you to keep the true artifact hidden, lest generations of Amundian rulers have wielded it, though not in battle, of course. It is a ceremonial weapon for use in parades and the like. Yet, Deesa's disdain for tradition has seen the blade suffer. It is fractured and has lost much of its former luster. Captain Brandt is of a mind to restore it, so that it might serve as a symbol of your authority, Sir Arisen. Indeed, when the time comes for you to announce your ascension, having this sword at your hip would doubtless elevate your standing in the eyes of the people. And I must confess, having watched over the blade for many a year, I've grown rather fond of it. I should be well glad to see it restored to its former splendor by your hand. My hopes for our kingdom and its treasure go with you, Sir Arisen. I bid you good fortune. Well, okay. Find someone to repair the dulled regalia sword. My guess is either Brocker or Sarah in Bakbatalm. So this counts as a valuable ceremonial regalia sword long wielded by rulers of Vermont. Blade's edge is dulled. Its luster lost cannot be equipped as a weapon. All right. Perfect. That works for me. So let's take a quick look at our quest, right? So flickering shadows, this is going to have us go to Heart Village. I probably will do that next. We are, let's see, we could go and talk to the jailed brigand that's in Bak Batal's jail or Batal's jail. That would also bring us somewhere near the Dulled Steel Cold Forge, which is perfect. Uh, Poisonous Proposal, Yar will be there waiting for us. And then we still need to go and get a Medusa's head to do the sculptor's block. So pretty good. Look at all these quests we've completed, by the way. That's a lot. That's a lot. And the fact that there's still some in Vernworth. That I haven't gotten, and I bet there's more. Game just keeps on giving. Okay, so uh, that's heavy. So I'm going to be dropping this off with my good friend, Sylvain. Oh, wait, we were going to get a new bow. That's right, we were going to get a new bow. So let's go do that. I should have some already in my inventory. And then we will... Let's see, how to get to Harv Village? Do we need it? Is there an ox? There's no ox cart that goes there, right? I don't believe so. I think it's only places off of the main road. You know what I'm thinking too? I don't think we spent enough time over in Eastern Vermont. <laughs> and I know I didn't do all these caves, even though I found some. Yeah, I bet there's some more stuff over here. So an adventure for another time. Follow me, master. I'm not following anyone. Guide you to the location. Don't do that, because instead, I am just trying to get to a place with storage. Because I'm trying to think. From from Vernworth, I can get to Melv. I can get to Checkpoint Rest Town, but I think Har Village is something I just have to run to, which is okay. It's really not that bad of a run. Ugh, as much as I don't want to do it. Let's go ahead and unequip the bow. Oh, and we can also do a quick test, too. And I'll tell you what I mean by that test here in a moment. Let's deposit it. Let's withdraw. Okay, so that is 609 strength. The next best is Darkening Storm, 477. Ugh, kills me to get rid of it. But look at that. It is one-seventh 
the weight. One seventh. I'll be able to fire so many more stamina wise. Just so so many more. You know where to find me. I know. Oh, right, but hold on, hold on, hold on. Come back, come back. What I wanted to do was we wanted to test the ring that boosts my strength. So let's see, that's stamina. Okay. Ring of aggression. So what I want to do is take a look right now at our status. So we have on we have on the ring of brawn. Greater boost of strength, the less weight the wearer wearer is carrying. My strength right now is Oh, because I haven't equipped the bow. That's okay. So my strength right now is 279. Okay, now if I switch this with the ring of aggression, so that's the right ring. Did that increase, decrease, or stay the same? That increased significantly. Which is crazy. I mean, that is that is a huge difference. So tell you what, let's get rid of let's put it back on. And let's just become very light and see, is it just categories? Like, is it light, average, heavy, or very light? Or is it actual just kilograms? So right now we are at what? We're at 20.72. Let us, let's just get rid of, wait, that this doesn't work. You can't just take stuff off blue. <laughs> you can't do that. But I could do that and then just chuck it into storage really quickly. Hopefully I remember what it is. I'm still not very light. What do I have on me? My goodness. Okay, there we go. So now I'm at uh, 9.86. But I still have on the Ring of Brawn, right? 279. It hasn't changed. That ring seems bad. Well, like what at what point? At what point would you use this over the Ring of Aggression? I I couldn't tell you. Care on the road, sir. These are dangerous to okay, so if I want to withdraw, can I do acquired? No, I can't. Well, let's give that to Silvarius. And now I just need to... I'm going to get the... What was I wearing? Ooh! It's just too optimized. I think I was wearing the circlet, right? Was I wearing the white leather kerchief? No, the Prowler Kerchief, along with the Twilight Star. Deepwood Jacket. Ugh, should do the Ranger's Tights, right? But no, I think I was wearing... Was it the Nap Leather? Or Wrath... No, Wrath Greaves. And then I was wearing the really cool... Murky Grouse Feather Cloak. Yeah. Oh, don't forget your bow. I mean, I did forget the bow, but stop forgetting the bow. Darkening Storm. Much obliged. All right. Throw that on really quickly. Looking good. Now, I do want to see what I can upgrade this with. Yes, again, we are just going to do just the regular old Vermundian blacksmith. After you, Arisen. I think it'll still get the job done. My bed. Hey. Got a blade. What needs fixing, do you? Oh. And it are. Okay. I assumed it was going to be a back with Tali, but can you do this? Where'd you find this ancient thing? I can scarce see the steel for all this rust. But hold a moment. Isn't this a regalia sword? First state of it. 
Blades like this were near meant for battle, sure, but this one's been ill-treated. Uh, restoring an antique like this will prove nigh impossible, methinks. Although, there is one who might have the skill. A dwarf, Baron Batal, a living legend of the smithing trade. If anyone can do it, sir, I reckon tis he. Okay, there we go. So, a legendary blacksmith resides in so the dwarf blacksmith is Brocker, not Sarah. All manner of arms for sale. Come, have yourself. Okay, so, and I do like that Vermundian actually decrease silver crown. You're telling me I don't have those? Oh, well, that's disappointing. Silver crowns. I mean, I'm getting the the gold teeth, the putrid gold teeth from the zombies. Is silver crown from them as well? Just. More rare, I suppose. Okay. Look, Fair enough. Hope to see you again. Right. Okay. Enough of that. Time to. Time to head to Harv Village. Should be a relatively quick shot. I will go ahead and pause the recording. And as usual, if anything interesting happens, any large monsters appear, I will bring you around. For the ride. I've been down here on the beaches, right? Sorry. Silly, silly question. But this doesn't look familiar. Well, maybe I have. I don't It just... It reminds me so much of Cassardus. I do beg your pardon, but I cannot talk. But I would just... I, I would almost think that there would be... Some loot down here, or a quest down here. And maybe there was, once a time ago. Oh. There's an empty chest. Never mind. Alright, so. I will bring you back when something interesting happens. I know what you're thinking. Really? You're gonna go out and adventure, even though we just watched you do 18 minutes of inventory management? Yeah. And? I just realized that the symbol for the pawn guild is that hand, which is uh, actually pretty cool. But anyway. And also, while all of you are screaming at me in the comments that I have a port crystal there, I do. And I even have a couple of fairy stones. And I'm not against using them, but I just really want to max out this vocation. No one's coming to assail us. Mayhap we've scared them all off. Okay, a little bit of new stuff. Where are we? Oh, wow. This whole road is new to us. Just kind of northeast of Harva Village. Still killing things relatively easy. Alright, how about a little spiral arrow? Oh, that's pretty cool. It kind of just locks him down. Yeah. And look at the stamina difference. It's huge. Oh, yeah. This feels nice. Oh, this feels this feels lovely indeed. Look at all this. Unexplored land. How? How? Game, at some point, you gotta, you just gotta stop with the surprises. How can I get up there? I mean, there's grapes, so obviously I can. Don't tell me I can't. You wouldn't tempt me with the grapes! Okay, fine. They're just grapes. Don't tell Cerberus I said that. By the way, if you all start sending back ripened grapes, every time you borrow Cerberus, I won't even be mad. Ooh, not bad. Couple of tomes. Not a terrible little jump, but there's more. There's an actual road that just keeps going. Got some harpies. See how I, see how I led that shot? Didn't hit anything, but I let it. 
Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Oh, we actually got... We got a statue here? Oh, look at this. Nice shot of uh, Har Village, too. And we got some butterflies, meaning there's absolutely going to be a rift zone nearby. As well as a nice ornate chest. That somehow I just opened from this side of the wall. A wakestone shard. If I was a trickster, that augment would have been chiming like crazy. No? Alright. That's not going to happen. Well, let's see what this note says. This innocuous note that never leads us anywhere. Can see far to the distance from here. I apparently killed a seagull. My bad. Take a moment to savor the scene. Oh, come on. Where's the note? My support. No. Is this truly the first one without a note? Let me guess. This is probably one of the Sphinx's riddles. Oh, just kidding. Here's the note. <laughs> Tis a magnificent view. Landscape seems to unfold in all directions, revealing its secrets of the patient observer. Yep. We got Har Village. We got, I think that's Sigurd's house, which we should go because he helped us kill that crazy dra It's time. It's time. Once we find this rift stone, because there's got to be one nearby. Come on, butterflies don't lie. Where? Where is it? Oh, you guys are over here. No scary place to drop down to, right? I don't buy it. There's gotta be. But I, I don't see one. Is there any way to get up onto this cliff? It looks like they purposely made it just out of reach of a normal vocation. And I can't imagine they're going to hide a, a rift stone behind specific movement tech. But then again, I could be wrong. All right. We now have the, the augment that gives us increased damage to vital points, a.k.a. dragon's hearts. Let's see if we can't use that to our advantage here in this fight. Oh, shoot. Yeah, let's kill all these goblins first. One of us has been drenched. Is that it? Good. Now, real quick, I'm curious. Where am I at? 2,500 discipline points. Not bad. It's obviously not going to happen in this episode. Let's see. Can I uh, lead with a heavenly shot? Uh-oh. I guess probably not. Totally missed. Yep. No. That was that was really bad and embarrassing. Now show me your heart. No. Expose your heart. Oh, you know how about a little uh, spiral arrow right to the head? Or miss. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, I like that. That was really cool, actually. Look at that. Good damage on the head, thanks to Heavenly Shot. Watch out! Okay, Spiral Shard on the Heart was really, really great. And again. Run away, run away, run away.
I'm sorry, the griffin just joined the fight. Sure did. Really not doing the damage I'd like, so let's do an erupting shot. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, ready, ready? Heavenly shot right to the heart. That was pretty good. That was really good. Griffin, I mean, do you really think we got time for you right now? We do, but you know, first come, first serve. Where the... Did the dragon really leave? What? He really left? Okay, let's go. Heavenly shot, up close, right to the head. Decent. Oh, we almost got him. There we go. Good kill. Where's the dragon, though? That's some nonsense. Against a formidable foe. Considering the might of our combined experience, what other outcome could there have been? Uh, and he really did, like, he didn't just fly nearby, he's, he's just gone. We had him too. We had him. You know, actually, come to think of it, I said I was going to go talk to Sigurd. And the quest that we're following right now has us looking for one who was Dragonforged. Could it be... That Sigurd, being a former Risen, was also Dragonforged? It will be difficult to pinpoint distant foes by sight alone. Say, have I seen... What I can do for you? I don't know, maybe. Just kind of checking out... What's going on? Oh, traveling merchant. Well met. Looking to make... What do you have for me? A fairy stone for 10,000? Yep, just stocking up makes it easier to do upgrades and just travel great distances very quickly. Fancy a look at my wares. Yes, Chandler. What it also a fairy stone? We'll take it. What else you have though? I like the legacy cloak. Kind of you know, torn up at the bottom. Hey, I got one of those. All right, good there. Thank you. Always a pleasure. So let's make our way towards Sigurd and see if just maybe, maybe, maybe he's the one. If not, maybe he'll talk to us about that dragon he helped us kill. Oh, what if it is the weirdo guy on the beach? The one who goes and gets swallowed up by the brine? He's got to have a story, yeah? Hey, there you are. I see it in your eyes. You are ready to learn. And so I shall teach you a <gasps> technique. Use it well. Because he's the Mystic Spear Handmaster. Paladin's Enigmata. I myself bore that title. And that's all you got. Okay, so nothing about the dragon we killed, but you did give me a technique. What is that? Oh, it's actually called Wild Fury. And I have no idea what that means, but it does mean there's going to be an episode of Mystic Spear Hand coming back real soon. Horns as well. I shall strive to learn from your example. That's extremely exciting. Okay, now let us throw on. Oh, we have it set up. You know what? The glow. The glow of the quest is actually back here where that weirdo guy is. 
is it possible he's throwing himself to the brine every night because of the fact that he was once dragon forged i don't know i don't know you know what though he does have the port time, you crystal I have a special tale to share with oh you. get out of here oh so i'd like to say but it is getting rather late best spend the night we can talk again come the morning Ah, good. You're awake. Look to the sea, my friend. Hard to resist setting out in one's boat with fair skies like these, eh? <laughs> now, I've told you about the sunken temple in the middle of the sea, haven't I? I, I'm quite sure I mentioned it. But I ne'er spoke of the man who resides there. He was such a worthy ruler in life that his armies safeguard him even in death. As he himself would have it. He was once entrusted with the task of watching over this world from the heavens above. Yet he tired of his duty and abandoned his perch in the sky in favor of founding a small kingdom on the ground. Alas, though he was a just and goodly ruler, there is not a single person alive who remembers his name. Oh, it sounds unfortunate, but if you ask me, tis all a matter of perspective. It can be a blessing to forget. And to be forgotten. I should know. In all my long years, I've never forgotten a single thing. I remember everything. Every little detail. Would that I could forget some of it. <laughs> a lie it may seem, but a lie it is not. I speak only the truth, as you well know. Come see me again, if it pleases you. <laughs> I've tales aplenty to share. Heavens, friend, I've never seen the like. Was that Grand Soren that just came out of the water? I'd not known there were ruins in the depths of this cavern till the path appeared. Twas magic, methinks. I should have liked to investigate if the place hadn't been crawling with monsters. I'll be needing sturdier arms than these before I head back in there, I fear. At any rate, I'd best report this discovery to my commander. I only pray North Grave shall come of it. Yon structure yet lies on the water. It is strange to think that it slumbered beneath the surface all this time. Indeed. I cannot but think its presence holds some significance for us. Yeah, I agree. Path is opened up within Stormwind Cave, leading to ruins heretofore unknown. It seems prudent to venture and see what is to be found. Mm. I know it's just kind of generic castle, but that's how Grand Soren was. And I... I don't know. Seems like the perfect tie-in to have Grand Soren be sunk beneath the ocean. Kind of like, you know, the Legend of Zelda Wind Walker? Wind Waker? All I say is true. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, we don't have to go do that right now. And I only say that because we have a port crystal right here. And I do have a couple other quests in Bak Batal that I'd like to do. Not to mention, I still need to max out the archer. Ah, I'll take that. We might find a use for it. Oh, I'm torn. Go and explore something new. No, tell you what. We only have a little bit left of this episode. Let's go ahead and let's wrap it up by heading to Bakbatal. Here we can go talk to Jarl, who's been poisoned by the Chimera. We can also go question the brigand in the jail. And we can go talk to Brocker, the blacksmith, about the dulled regalia. And we can go check in on Isaac, see if he's doing any better. Day's journey into a single instant. I suppose it is so. Yeah, I'm not. So, oh shoot, who's who? A pack of red wolves. Oh, no. <laughs> 
It's nice that, you know, when there are monsters, the guards understand that, hey, I'm gonna have my weapon drawn. I just missed. Was that what we were helping out with? Hey, I know you. You're Dan. <laughs> it is Dan. I really like recognizing pawns again. That's super fun. But you also were afflicted with the uh, Dragon's Plague, so I'm a little bit skeptical. Who who here has... Have we met so no, but... Oh, really? Another Red Wolf? There we go. Okay, now that it's updated. If I do say so myself. You can say so yourself. Alright, let's go talk to Jarl. After we talk to... Hold on, hold on. Hold on, George. What do you got? Do we want to buy the Mask of Concealment? I don't... The, the Mask of Non-Entity I thought was cool at first, and, and then I saw every pawn, every thief pawn was using it, so it was kind of... Less intrigued by it. Nope, oh, right, he's down on the first floor. Nope, hop down. There you are, friend. My heart beat pounds in my ears. My gut writhes like a nest of snakes. You're still poisoned? Extraordinary. This is the potency of the Chimera's venom. I feel more symptoms developing even as I speak. The poison must be entering its final stages. Allow me to thank you ere I lose consciousness. Once again, your assistance has proven invaluable. Do you want a panacea? Thank you for your help, my friend. Few would have deigned to give me the time of day. Okay, and that's over. Got a nice level up, level 55, lots of gold. I'm sitting on 85,000, not too upsetting there. All right, where to next? Next, let's go find Brocker, show him the dulled regalia sword. And what did we end up? Discipline point wise, 2000. So 2000 is easy. I could go out into Batal and probably get that in about 15 minutes. Oh, I'm realizing. I think Isaac's shop is closed, isn't it? Oh. Oh, game, don't do that. That just makes it so much worse. Just to see that just cold sign. Ugh. What if Brocker won't talk to me because I, you know, gave him that Nutriarve and then broke in to get his scale cinder. We shall have to decide which is the most... If tis a blacksmith you need, I can't help you. I'm retired, see? He says standing next to a forge. Oh, ho! Oh, tis a regalia sword you want restored, is it? That's a first. <laughs> All right, give us a look then. I can't because Silverius has it, so I'm sorry. Hold, please. Silverius, where are you? Good to see you, master. Yeah, it's good to be seen. Hurry. There we go. Try that again. Sorry, Brocker. If tis a blow ho, tis a regalious. Hmm. Now here's a masterwork of craftsmanship if I e'er saw one. Not to blow my own horn, but uh, <laughs> I wager I'm the only blacksmith who could set this ailing steel to rights. But as I've said, I've laid down my tools, and before you start begging, know that I don't intend to pick them back up. Well, why are you still standing there? Leave an old man in peace. Oh. That 
went rather poorly. Okay. What are we to do now? Is there something he wants? Maybe I can go get more Nutriarp? Still here, Art. My smithing days are done. Is Sarah around? Pardon, sir, but uh, I couldn't help overhearing your conversation with Brocker. You'll have to forgive him. He's been in a foul mood eh, since we got cut off from the fuel for our forge. Though, he's always been a bit crotchety, come to think of it. Enough cheek, you wool-brained wastrel. Now, I'm off to the tavern. Can I count on you to mind things here while I'm gone? Of course you can. You go enjoy yourself. Hang about, eh? When he's gone, you and I can talk. Okay, is Sarah gonna be able to fix it for us? Twas special made to use glimmer coal mined from a nearby cavern. Hey, guess what? I have like ten or fifteen of those. Till the monsters settled in, that is. Neither of us can go anywhere near the place now. Listen. Brocker's too proud to ask for help, but I'm not. Would you be willing to go out to the cavern and mine us up some glimmer coal? I'll take as much as you can carry. Should you succeed, I reckon he'll change his mind about restoring that blade of yours. Now, true to its name, glimmer coal emits a pale light. It was glowing, but then when I got close, it would stop. So you'll want to cast your eyes about for any glowing spots when you get to the cavern. Oh, suppose you'll be needing the name of the place. <laughs> Digger's Ruins, tis called. I'll count on you to bring lots of the stuff back. Okay. You can procure some glimmer coal from Digger's Ruins. So Brock Do I need more than what I have? I could bring what I have. Oh, find 15 or more. I'll lead the way. Do I have 15? Vanguard is yours. But also... She'll take as much as I can give her. Is there a better reward for giving more than 15? And where where was that mine again? Okay, that's right. Not too terribly far. Well, we are about to wrap up. But let's go see how much we got. And we'll see if we want to head back and try to get more or if we even need to. Let's see. So withdraw, go to... I have 15. I have exactly 15. Fifteen or more. And it's the or more that's catching me off guard. It makes me think that maybe I'll get a better reward if I go get more. So we might be taking a little trip next time to the diggers ruins which is not very far not very far at all and could probably get us enough discipline points to carry us through to max rank so i think that's what our plan is next so we'll do that we'll see if sarah needs anything else we'll get that sword and then very soon we'll be making our way over to what might be the ruins of grand soren that just raised up from the sea all in due time thank you so much for watching hope you're still enjoying and i'll see you next time